In today's topic is a sound mind and it promises to be another refreshing time of prayer in the presence of God. This has been a seven day journey, but we are going to 31 or 32 days. We have been looking at the book written by Pastor Kingsley Okungwa, which is titled Praying for Your Wife. And as you know, on this platform, we're single people all about prayers, learning how to be intimate with God, learning how to interact with one another, share struggles, and just talk about how we have been overcomers and also prepare ourselves for marriage. And this prayer series has been particularly focused on preparation for marriage. Preparation for marriage. It's okay to pray that the Lord should settle you maritally. It's okay for you to trust God, confess all the scriptures. It's even okay for you to write out or state certain specifications that you want to see in your spouse but a what about your own preparation what about how you package yourself physically yes a lot of us do now stop there when you know that oh your hips lips and fingertips are all in place and you are nicely packaged <clears throat> in the exterior but what about the interior what about the things that are inside you, your makeup, your mental processes? What about that? So I particularly picked this one because it talks about the perspective of a man concerning a wife. What does a man think <clears throat> about his wife? What does a man tell God about his wife? What does a man desire in a woman, right? And what is God's perspective on this? Because it's not just about what the man de desires only. That is valid, right? But even more and most importantly is the perspective of God on the matter. So I invite you today to join me in today's prayers as women. <clears throat> please pray them as young ladies, you know, beautiful women, trusting God. For marriage because proverbs 18 22 says he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the lord so you desire to be found but you're not going to be found as a beautiful chick you're going to be found as a beautiful chick and a wife they're going to be found as a wife so desire marriage we most importantly desire that you will be a wife right so that is why we are making this prayer today and our god is a prayer answering god i i i i i know that this particular platform which is instagram right now seizes in fact from the day i started out the from there I, I posted the flyer i ceased to be just a zoom a a, a just to be just to be just an ordinary instagram platform but it has become bethel where the angels of god are ascending and descending because we have decided to build an or a, a, a ladder we said to build a connection right between our hearts from our hearts to the heart of God. And it is my desire that angels will ascend and descend, taking up this request and bringing down answers so that truly this place is the altar of the Lord and it is called Bethel in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. So if you can find this book, please go ahead. It's on Amazon. Uh, I think so. I think I'm not sure, but I can assure you that if you go to Love Dating and Marriage with PK, that's LDM with PK on Instagram, click on the link in the bio. There is a portal that you can also where you can get this book and many of his books. This book and many of these books. Pastor Kingsley is a super, super amazing preacher, as well as Pastor Mildred, too. Pastor Mildred has written a twin version of this book, which is Praying for Your Husband. So you might also want to get that as well. Now let's jump right into today's um, topic. I took my time to explain um, this, this whole 
concept of oil of Mara and sweet perfumes because I, today is Monday. It, it's always the beginning and it's always the the, the start. It, it's, it's always a fresh start. So I thought to give, you know, that long introduction again. And um, in the subsequent days, it may not be as, as robust, you know, as today's introduction. So thank you once again for joining. And please do well to invite people as well. Thank you. All right, uh, let me see. A couple of people have joined. Olani, Jesus is here. Thank you so much. Uh, I am sorry, I'm innovation. Thank you for joining. Undisputed. Olatunde. Olatunde Ayode. Thank you for joining. Gozie Mutukwe. Fast gifts. Thank you all so much for joining. I see you. Uh, God bless you. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Panash. I hope I got the pronunciation of your name correctly. Panash. Thank you. We'll spend some time praying today. Yesterday, I was in a rush because I needed to go to church. Excuse me. So today's anchor scripture is 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, and it reads, For God did not give us a spirit of timidity or cowardice or fear, but he has given us a spirit of power and of love and of sound judgment and personal discipline. That is, abilities that result in calm, well-balanced mind and self-control. Please permit me to read this scripture again. It's in the Amplified Version. For God has not given us a spirit of timidity or cowardice or fear, but he has given us a spirit of power and of love and of sound judgment and personal discipline. That is, abilities that result in calm, well-balanced mind and self-control. Praise God. Exposition. I am sure by now you have discovered how important a woman's mind is to her existence. A woman has a mind that is different from a man's own. And her thoughts and emotions also affect her more than a man, a man can ever imagine. One of the best things you can do for her as her husband is to hand her over to the one who understands her since he made her your wife will have great dreams and goals but one of the things she will battle with will be her mind you need to pray that she will always accept what god is giving her and fear is definitely not one of them she will need to accept her power how powerful she is and love herself even when her questions even when she questions her what sometimes your prayer for her should be that in such times she will tap into her innate abilities of sound judgment and personal discipline and this will eradicate anxiety so that she will always have a balanced mind and exhibit self-control. The end result will be a life of peace, which I am sure both of you desire. Praise God. Amen. The worksheet says, are there areas of your wife's life where she feels inadequate and she has communicated that to you? List them out and take them up in prayer one after the other. Amen. Praise God. Now, I find something very interesting. In one of the episodes past, I'm sure that some of you will remember, I said, when I started reading this book, I just suddenly found out that what I thought was important, the topics that I felt were going to be dealt with in this book, eventually were not so pronounced what I find to be pronounced in this book, like about one third of it or a quarter of it, is the issues about the mind. And I said to myself, Pastor Kingsley is vast in knowledge and also vast in experience. 
And so for him to be focusing on the woman's mind, that means it is true. So every time we come here, I also make sure that our prayers 